The Complex Legacy of Thomas Jefferson, A Deep Dive into His Shocking Facts Thomas Jefferson, an American founding father and the third president of the United States, is a figure etched in the annals of history for his significant contributions to the formation of the United States. Yet, beneath the surface of his celebrated achievements lie aspects of his life that are complex, controversial, and often shocking. Fact number one. The Paradox of Jefferson's Slave Ownership Thomas Jefferson, the principal author of the Declaration of Independence, paradoxically owned over 600 slaves during his lifetime. This stark contradiction between his public advocacy for liberty and his private reliance on slave labor underscores a complex legacy. While Jefferson's writings often criticized slavery, he remained deeply embedded in the system for economic and personal reasons. His plantation, Monticello, was operated by slave labor, and his wealth was significantly tied to this practice. This duality in Jefferson's stance has made him a subject of ongoing debate regarding his true convictions about slavery and human rights. His failure to liberate his slaves, even upon his death, further complicates his historical image as an advocate for freedom and equality. Number 2. The Enigmatic Relationship with Sally Hemings the historical narrative of Thomas Jefferson is further complicated by his relationship with Sally Hemings, an enslaved woman at Monticello. Modern DNA evidence, alongside contemporary accounts, strongly suggests that Jefferson fathered several children with Hemings. This relationship, which spanned decades, challenges the traditional image of Jefferson and raises questions about the power dynamics and ethical implications of his actions. It has become a focal point in reassessing Jefferson's personal life and its impact on his political and moral standing. The nature of their relationship, whether consensual or coercive, remains a topic of intense debate and speculation, adding a layer of personal controversy to Jefferson's historical portrayal. Number 3. Extravagance and Financial Despair Thomas Jefferson's lifestyle was marked by luxury and extravagance, which ultimately led to severe financial distress. Despite his significant contributions to American politics and philosophy, Jefferson's personal financial management was poor. When he passed away on July 4, 1826, he was deeply in debt, leaving an estate burdened by financial obligations. The ensuing sale of his property, including many of his slaves, was a tragic outcome of his financial mismanagement, casting a shadow on his legacy. His inability to resolve his debts reflects a disconnection between his public stature as a statesman and his private struggles, further complicating the narrative of one of America's founding fathers. Number 4. The Controversial Embargo Act of 1807. Jefferson's presidency was marked by the Controversial Embargo Act of 1807, a significant yet divisive piece of legislation. Designed as a measure against British and French military aggression, the act prohibited American ships from trading in foreign ports. However, the embargo backfired, causing severe economic hardship across the United States, particularly affecting merchants and farmers. The act's failure not only damaged the American economy but also Jefferson's popularity, and it stands as a contentious aspect of his presidential legacy. Number 5. Monticello, a masterpiece shadowed by slavery. Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's iconic estate, is a testament to his architectural genius and innovative design. Over a period of 40 years, Jefferson meticulously designed and redesigned Monticello, integrating features that were remarkably advanced for the 18th and early 19th centuries. His designs included a unique octagonal dome, mechanical innovations, and an emphasis on classical aesthetics. However, Monticello also represents a stark reminder of Jefferson's complex legacy, as it was built and maintained by the enslaved people he owned. This juxtaposition of architectural brilliance and the reliance on slavery encapsulates the profound contradictions in Jefferson's life and legacy. Number 6. Championing Public Education Thomas Jefferson was a fervent advocate for public education, a stance that was progressive for his era. He passionately believed that the success and vitality of the republic depended on an educated populace. This belief led him to found the University of Virginia, an institution designed to foster learning and enlightenment. 
Jefferson envisioned education as a tool to empower citizens and promote democratic principles, a vision that has had a lasting impact on American education. Number 7. The Louisiana Purchase, A Constitutional Dilemma. The Louisiana Purchase, one of Jefferson's most significant presidential accomplishments, doubled the size of the United States and is hailed as a masterstroke in American history. However, the acquisition presented a personal conflict for Jefferson. Known for his strict interpretation of the U.S. Constitution, he grappled with the Purchase's constitutional authority, as the Constitution did not explicitly provide for the acquisition of new territories. This internal conflict highlights Jefferson's pragmatic approach to governance, balancing ideological principles with the practical necessities of nation-building. Number 8. The Controversial Approach to Native American Relations Thomas Jefferson's policies towards Native Americans remain a contentious aspect of his presidency. While he initially advocated for their assimilation into American society, his approach gradually shifted to promoting their removal from ancestral lands. Jefferson's policies led to the displacement and hardship of numerous Native American tribes. These actions contributed to a legacy of suffering and loss for Native American communities, reflecting the darker aspects of Jefferson's administration and the broader American policy towards indigenous peoples during that period. Number 9. The Art of Political Subterfuge Thomas Jefferson, while celebrated for his diplomatic skills and political philosophy, was not averse to the darker arts of politics. He often engaged in clandestine tactics, one of which included anonymously writing or sponsoring newspaper columns to launch attacks against his political adversaries. This strategy highlights a less discussed aspect of Jefferson's political life, where he maneuvered behind the scenes to shape public opinion and counter his rivals. These actions paint a portrait of a political figure who was not only a visionary thinker but also a shrewd and sometimes manipulative player in the complex game of politics. His use of pseudonyms to influence public opinion and political discourse without revealing his involvement reflects a strategic, if not controversial, understanding of media and public perception. Number 10. Troubling Racial Views in his notes on the state of Virginia, Jefferson articulated views on race that are deeply disturbing by modern standards. He suggested inherent differences in the abilities and characteristics of black people compared to white people, perpetuating racist stereotypes and ideologies. These views starkly contradict his famous declaration that all men are created equal and reveal a complex, often contradictory stance on race and human rights. Jefferson's racial theories contributed to the enduring legacy of racism and discrimination in the United States, casting a shadow over his legacy as a proponent of liberty and equality. His writings on race have become a source of intense scrutiny and criticism, complicating his legacy and raising questions about the foundations of American societal structures. Number 11. Navigating the Barbary Wars. Thomas Jefferson's approach to the Barbary Wars marked a significant chapter in early American foreign policy. Initially, he opted for a diplomatic route, paying tributes to the Barbary states to protect American ships from piracy. This decision was controversial, seen by some as a submission to extortion. However, Jefferson's policy eventually shifted towards military engagement, sending naval forces to the Mediterranean. This marked America's first military action overseas and a turning point in U.S. foreign policy. The decisions surrounding the Barbary Wars reflected Jefferson's pragmatic approach to international relations, balancing diplomacy with military action when necessary. His leadership during this period demonstrated a willingness to adapt strategies in response to changing circumstances, showcasing a nuanced understanding of the complexities of international power dynamics and statecraft. Number 12. The Controversy Over the Alien and Sedition Acts Pardons Jefferson's opposition to the Alien and Sedition Acts is well documented, and upon becoming president, he pardoned those convicted under these acts. However, his handling of these pardons has been criticized as politically motivated rather than a principled stand for civil liberties. Critics argue that Jefferson's pardons were strategically selective, aimed more at consolidating his political power and influence rather than upholding the ideals of justice and free speech. 
This aspect of his presidency suggests a calculated approach to political maneuvering, using the power of pardon as a tool for political gain.